What's going on guys, this is Random Reviews, and today we're gonna do, today we're gonna do season two, episode 201, sorry I haven't made a video in like a week, I was taking a break, and plus for a future review, I'm gonna do Persona 5, that's what I've been doing for the past week and a half, is playing Persona 5, mm -hmm. this is gonna be a long one, this is gonna be a long game, anyway, that's not what we're doing today, ooh, Jesus, I almost dropped it. Anyway, what we're doing today is we're doing the new movie, Luca, as you can see from the title of this video. <clears throat> so yeah, please like and subscribe. Maybe who knows, we'll all do Persona 5 when I finish the story mode of Persona 5. I'm not going to 100% it because that's just insane amount of time. Because I know this is like over a 90 hour game, it's like, ugh. I'm enjoying it, but again, it's like, it's a long game. So that's going to be my next video game review. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for the week. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll get back to my normal scheduling. <sighs> At least I'll try to. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to see next. Or let me know what you next. So yeah, of course, Luca came out last year. Or, no it didn't. It came out, it came out on Friday. <clears throat> exclusively on Disney Plus, and I watched it last night. So of course, set in the beautiful seaside town of <laughs> the Italian Riviera. It's a coming-of-age story... A little gelato pasta and then it was scooter rides. Lucas shares those adventures with his newfound best friend. Yes. It's kind of like a queer movie, kind of. It's kind of a gay movie. Sort of, in a way. Yes. This was pretty damn good. Disney really hit it all to the ballpark again with this one. <clears throat> and thank you, Disney Plus, for making it on... I mean, thank you, Disney, for making this on Disney Plus exclusively with no stupid $30. That's what they should do. Or they should do what HBO Max does. Disney Plus, if you're listening, what you should do is make do the same thing as HBO Max, but except you can get rid of it and then put it back on the streaming service in a few months for free. Yeah. <clears throat> because it's like, well, uh, really? $30? Jungle Cruise? Really? $30? It's like, I bet you nobody's going to spend $30 on Jungle Cruise. Cool, well, uh, I can kind of see. But Jungle Cruise, though. Black Widow, $30, really? <sighs> Whatever. I mean, as much as I love Disney+, Plus, but it's just like, some of the choices that they do with some of their movies is like, okay. So yeah, Luca. I would give this an 8 out of 10 for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a little slow at the beginning, but it is, it's worth it. <laughs> I say it's worth it. Yes. I say check it out. It's on Disney+. Plus. If you have a Disney+, Plus subscription, please check it out. <laughs> It's really good. And it was funny. And cute. And heartwarming. And sad. It's like, yeah. And of course, this stars Jacob Tremblay, who's the kid from, one of the kids from Good Boys. May I'll do that eventually. <clears throat> and Jake Dylan, great sir. Great sir. From Shazam, which may I'll do that. <clears throat> may when a new Suicide Squad movie comes out, maybe I'll do all the <coughs> DC movies. And of course, John Ratzenberger is also in this movie, and so of course is Maya Rudolph, Jim Gaffigan, Sasha Baron Cohen's also in this. So yeah, please check out Luca on Disney Plus. It's really good. So yeah, see you guys next time for Lego Show the Movie because I finally watched it. Finally.